William A. Hayes was born in 1928 and spent most of his growing up years in South Bend, Indiana. He earned a bachelor's degree in 1950 and later earned a Master of Divinity degree from Colgate Rochester Divinity School in 1953. He was ordained United Church of Christ and pastored four churches in Connecticut, Brooklyn, Buffalo, New York, and Kansas City, Missouri. He engaged in civil rights activism in Kansas City and served with public bodies to help provide low-income housing and human services programs. In 1971, he was called to become pastor of the First Church of the Brethren in Baltimore, Maryland. When he was called there, First Church was a predominantly white church in a black neighborhood. Today and at the time of his death in 1933, the membership better reflects the racial makeup of the community. While he's considered serving the local congregation his highest calling, he was an active denominational leader. He served on the general board for six years. Making history in 1988, he became the first African American to become moderator of the Church of the Brethren. Throughout his time with the Church of the Brethren, he reminded the church that blacks and other minorities must be taken seriously and that the future of the denomination lies in cities. In 1990, he served as chair of the committee who cre created a response to the query, Brethren and Black Americans, which was presented in 1991. Annual conference papers are meant to be challenging and prophetic in some ways, providing many examples of how churches and individuals can respond in a faithful way to some of these questions. This paper reflects that strong mission initiatives have been launched overseas with people of color, but Black Americans have been largely overlooked or ignored in the program and outreach of the denomination. The paper encourages action on behalf of the seminary, the denomination, and local congregations. For congregations, they recommend that congregations become informed about the life of Black Americans and other people of color in their communities, that they develop a partner relationship with the Black congregation as a way to build friendship and understanding and to engage in joint action on issues affecting Black persons in their community, and to stand in solidarity with Black Americans and other victims of racial hate by speaking out against overt expressions of racially motivated violence and offering assistance to victims. Hayes maintained his affiliation with the United Church of Christ, which was his home denomination, but his many years of service to the Church of the Brethren have shaped and influenced our denomination. He gave voice and leadership to issues with the Church of the Brethren continues to struggle with today. How, how are the insights and questions he and the committee members raised in 1990 still relevant for us today? How can we continue to bridge divides and increase understanding between white people and people of color?